Caroline Zook, this is my husband Jason Zook, and we run Wandering Aimfully, which is an unboring coaching program for intentional online business owners. We traveled full-time in 2022 in Europe, and this is our final destination video recap. And boy, did we finish this thing off right. We spent two glorious weeks in Switzerland in the fall. That's right. And to be honest, like our intention was not to do the Switzerland that you normally see and go to all the like didn't go to obvious places. Didn't go to Grindelwald. We just wanted to do it our way and just enjoy some scenery, as you'll see, hang out with some family. And I think we nailed it. Yeah, so let's get into it. in Switzerland. We stayed on two different lakes in Switzerland, one in a tiny town called Berglin, the lake is Lake Lungern, and then we also stayed on the larger lake, Lake Lucerne, which is more famous, in a small town called Emmeton. Yeah, and honestly, like we had planned to do probably more than we ended up doing. I ended up getting sick the first week when we were on Lake Lungern, but I'm just gonna be honest, like if you were gonna be sick anywhere in the world, you cannot be mad being sick in Switzerland because all I had to do was look out the window and it was just the most beautiful scenery I had ever seen, and I just like didn't feel so bad. Now, right before you got sick, we had like one day when yeah. we first arrived. We did do a little day trip to a small town called Sarnen, which yes. is just a few minutes away down the windy Swiss roads that were just lovely and through all the tunnels. So many tunnels. So many tunnels. But we got to check out this small town, very quintessential Swiss town. It was a beautiful weather day, and I just remember being like, this is what I wanted when we came to Switzerland. It was a beautiful little town with a little creek running through it, and we just got to stumble around, look at the mountains, look at the buildings. It was perfect. Now, after Caroline got over being sick for the week, we had to pick up a very important package at the airport. <laughs> and that package was her lovely mom, it's Patty. It's my mom, Patty. Yeah. Um, so I had this dream to bring my mom to Switzerland and to explore Switzerland with her because growing up, my mom always talked about this favorite trip that she took when she was 16 years old with her grand with my grandfather, her father, to Switzerland. She had always remembered Lucerne being this beautiful destination. So I always heard Lucerne, Lucerne, Lucerne growing up. And so it was a dream of mine to bring my mom over to Lucerne. How many years later? You did the 50. math. 50, 50 years later. Years. And... It was just a magical dream come true trip. Now with Patty, we had to take her back to Lucerne, the yeah. actual town, because we were staying in an Airbnb, which we'll get to. But we got to do a bunch of Lucerne things. Yeah, there were a couple of sites she really wanted to see because she remembered them from when she was 16. So we swung by the Lion Monument. We went by the Chapel Bridge. Um, and it was just fun hearing my mom compare like present day Lucerne to what she remembered being 16. She said there were no overhanging trees at the Lion Monument, which was amazing because that was like one of the I features. I mean, I don't know that. how much we're trusting her memory from being 16. But <laughs> 50 like, years ago though, sure, you can believe it's it. It's true. Yeah. Uh, and then my favorite part was having just a nice lunch at a hotel overlooking the entire city. And so we got some gorgeous views from above, which was just beautiful. Yeah. And the weather was a great day of weather. The sun came out. We just got all of the blue skies and the mountains and it just felt very Swiss. One of the days where the weather wasn't so great, it was a little overcasty, a little rainy, we still wanted to make the most of our time. So we actually planned to drive up to the highest point nearest our Airbnb to a little mountain town called Sealisburg. It was and so fun it driving. It was so fun. Up the mountain and then through, there was a little town with a hotel and the cloud cover was very low. So and you just, just see kind of cows ominous. along the way. Yeah, then we stumbled upon an Alper Chilby, which is <laughs> an like, Alpine fair. What's an Alper Chilby? We didn't know what it was we either. Know. We just parked the car, we got out, we walked over, we were kind of towards the tail end of the fair we gathered. Yeah. But there was all kinds of singing and dancing. Skits. Little shops. And like different people dressed up in yeah. different traditional garb. It just ended up being an every two year Thanksgiving fair is what we ran into in Switzerland at the top of the kind of mountain that we were staying on. Amazing. Now, if you Google some of the most picturesque small towns in Switzerland, you will find Eselwald, yes. which is what we decided to visit one of our last days. And boy, is this little town just the cutest little Swiss place. It really was. Uh, also, you gotta make sure you get off at the right exit. It's true. We were driving on the highway, there's a little construction, Google Maps got confused. Or maybe not because... We did, so we got off at the exit after Eselwald. And we then we, we found that the maps could reroute us along the lake, which I think is actually Lake Eselwald. But we followed this little one track road behind another car. Thankfully there was another car because we weren't sure if it was the right way to go. <laughs> and we were just driving along this most beautiful lake. All the fall colors were going off. So it ended up being a great little happy accident. 
Then we finally got to the town and such a cute, small Swiss town. There were buses that would stop by and drop people off. There's like a very famous Instagrammable moment mm -hmm. on the lake. We just avoided that. We didn't do the moment. But we did grab lunch because we wanted some schnitzel. Yes. So we found a little schnitzel Patty restaurant. Patty especially wanted some traditional yes. schnitzel and she got what she asked for. Yeah, and we just walked around the town. We took some photos over by the lake. We watched the ducks and it was just a very quiet, except for the Instagrammable moment that we avoided uh, town. There was actually a hotel that used to be there that was not in working order anymore. But we took some cool photos. Yeah, it was fun to walk around. So Isabald would definitely recommend a little trip there. It's if fun. If you want a small Swiss town, head to Isabald. Now, if you're going to take our advice and you're going to go to Isabald, right near there is Giesbach Falls, mm -hmm. which is great waterfalls. And one thing that if we come back to Switzerland, which we do want to do, we want to do a lot more hikes because obviously if you watch any Switzerland videos, you know that Switzerland is just made for this. But this is a good waterfall hike to go on. It's very easy. It's very well kind of taken care of. Patty hung out in the car because yeah, yes. it wasn't as accessible for her. Exactly. I was going to say, if you are with someone who maybe can't do like the big miles long hike um, as Patty, Patty just had her second hip surgery, so she wasn't up to that. Yeah. But she just got to hang out kind of by the picnic area and we hiked up to this beautiful waterfall in under, I think, 30 minutes one oh, way. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the fall is absolutely beautiful. You can actually go behind the waterfall, which we were able to do this same thing when we took our trip to Iceland, Iceland if you remember. Yeah. This is our second behind waterfall hike. Um, <sighs> and you get this beautiful view down the valley of this hotel and I just would highly recommend if you're into nature. Um, it's a very accessible but also very stunning little activity. So that was basically all that we did in Switzerland. We know there are so many more things we could do and see, and that's why we definitely want to go back. But it also is a matter of just picking the things with family who can only do so many things. So that's what we did, and we had a great time. An amazing time. Yeah. Where we stayed in Switzerland. Okay, everyone, you have to understand that Joss's place, this Airbnb, was the very first Airbnb we picked in 2021 when we were planning this year of adventure. This was like the front and center of our vision board yes. of our year of travel. And the funny thing about this Airbnb, if you click the link in the description to check it out, you'll notice that it's not really available that far in you advance. Can't really, you can't really book it. It was so difficult to book. I had a tab open on my browser window that I was refreshing every single morning, waiting for the calendar to open six months in advance, whatever it is. I can't even tell you how to book this place. All I can tell you is that if you can book it, you absolutely should because it's such a fun mix of modern, old, right on this beautiful lake. Joss is a great host, but it's just one of the most unique Airbnbs we stayed at all year long. It lives up to the hype. I looked at the photos on the Airbnb listing of the view of the lake and I thought, surely the water can't be that blue. It is. It is. Surely the trees can't be that green. They, they are. are. Surely the mountains can't be that beautiful. They, they are. absolutely <laughs> are. And it, it blew us away. I mean, I will never forget. Yeah. When we arrived at the Airbnb, it was dark. We, it had The sun had just set. It was rainy. It was kind of gross. You couldn't see the surrounding area. Waking up that next morning to the sun kind of bouncing off of the mountains and the color of the water of the lake, it is a moment I will never forget for the rest of my life. It took my breath away. Absolutely. The views out on the balcony, wonderful, great place to work, have some coffee, just fantastic. And again, if you're going to be sick, this is the place to be on the couch and, and be sick. But the layout of the house is actually very interesting because you're mm -hmm. you're the back kind of section and the attic. Yep. So there was an addition for the stairs that you go up to get to the uh, apartment itself. There's a bedroom that's a very interesting. It's like on the angled uh, roof. So like yeah, one of us had to climb over. It's not a spacious yeah. accommodation by any stretch of the imagination. But if you can get cozy with your person, um, it's very quaint. It's very cozy. And again, the views are just unbelievable. Yeah. And the layout of the place, I just think is very interesting the way it's an like open concept, but because it's an older building with wooden beams everywhere and just all kinds of Swiss architecture around, it doesn't feel like a big open loft. It kind of feels like this very interesting, like small chalet. So highly recommend Joss's place. Again, don't know if you'll be able to book if it, you can book it, but it was amazing. Now, the second Airbnb that we booked for our Switzerland stay was when my mom joined us. So we specifically looked for a place that would be one floor because again, the hips, we didn't want her walking up and down her stairs. Her hips don't lie, everybody. Her hips Patty's do not lie. Okay? Do not lie. Okay? And we found the perfect Airbnb. It was actually on Lake Lucerne, but much farther south. So not near the town, um, the city of Lucerne itself. But the reason we chose this place is, yes, it was one floor. It was had modern am amenities, but really what sold us was 
the view from this Airbnb oh, I thought overlooking the lake. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get to the view in a second. I thought you were gonna say what sold us was the automatic toilets. Oh, the fact I that when you walked into one of the two bathrooms and you just stepped in front of the toilet, the lid would open up and welcome you to sit down <laughs> and then would take care of all of your needs. It was- <laughs> You know who didn't like the toilets? Patty. Patty, Patty not did a not, fan. not, not a, a fan. fan. But it was just, it was a really well appointed apartment. I just wanna say Caltrina and her mm -hmm. mom, the host, were absolutely phenomenal. Now this is one of the pricier Airbnbs that we Definitely. did say. You are in Switzerland, so things are just more expensive. And to me, the view absolutely is worth the price and the outdoor areas. Yeah. So we had this beautiful patio area, patio area where with my mom, we were able to sit outside, uh, look over the lake. She brought old photos from her, her 50 trip. Years ago, from 50 years ago, actual Polaroids. Like little Polaroids. Yeah. So we were, we were having just a great time like looking through those. And then also you have this entire side yard with a hot tub. And again, that makes the price worth it to me because we use that thing every day. Yeah, it was really fun. Again, we were there in fall. So like the leaves were mm -hmm. behind us. They didn't even look real. They looked like fake faux colored leaves Can because confirm, they were so red, so fake. green. Uh, it was just wonderful. But yeah, overall, this Airbnb overlooking the lake, the accessibility to get to Lucerne in like 20 minutes, the little town of Beckenried that was just right down mm -hmm. the hill that we could see at night with all of its lights lighting up, and just a really nice modern place. Very, very nice, and we highly recommend it. What we ate in Switzerland. Now you know us, we're big foodies. We Normally we find all kinds of restaurants to eat at, but for some reason in Switzerland, I think it was just because of the quality time we wanted to spend with Patty. Definitely. We didn't go to a lot of restaurants, plus you were sick the first week. So we really only have two restaurants that we're going to share with you, but both were fun for different reasons. Yeah, so the first one is that first day that we took a day trip to Sarnen, that cute little Swiss town. We ate at a restaurant called Jordan, and this was my first sort of experience with Swiss food, where you know they're speaking German to you, and they were just very kind and helping us navigate the menu. Uh, I had this incredible schnitzel sandwich, yeah. and that was kind of like my first taste of schnitzel, and wow, it was really good. Yeah. You, you had something that kind of resembled. I had their, cla it was just called classic, classic chicken. chicken. And so I was like, well, what is this? And they were like, well, it takes 25 minutes. I'm like, well, what is going on with yeah. the chicken? It's just fried chicken is what it is. <laughs> but it was really, really well fried. It was delicious. Uh, so would highly recommend. Yeah, the flavors of this restaurant were great. Really good. We also got a nice little bowl of fries. We got some wine. And the best part of the restaurant really was the fact that right outside of it, there's a river or a creek that runs through the town. You just get to sit there and watch it. It was a lovely eating experience. Now we saved the best for last because this next restaurant we're gonna tell you about called Grottino 1313 in the city of Lucerne is probably maybe the best ambiance of any mm -hmm. restaurant we ate at the entire year of travel. It feels like a Disney moment. Like you walk yes. into this restaurant and truthfully what sold me when I found it on Google Maps, there was one photo of just this like, all these wood beams, the chandelier, this big fireplace. And I was like, yeah, this feels magical. I didn't even look at the menu. I had no idea what the food was. I but we felt loved like it. I stepped into like a tavern in Beauty and the Beast with yeah. the roaring fireplace, the huge oversized roaring fireplace that someone is tending to throughout your meal. All the tables are candlelit. The whole place is surrounded by just wood and beams, like Jason was saying. And then our, your favorite part was the oh, way that they serve the, the food. Again, didn't look at the menu. So yeah. I had no idea what we were ordering, what was going on, but it was basically a family style tasting menu. So you basically just said, I'm going to eat. Right, they're and not like, hey, what do you want? No. It's like, no, no, this is what you're we're gonna serving. eat. And you're like, yes, and they're like, <laughs> okay, great. We're gonna bring you some food. So they would bring you like a big bowl of soup and a big bowl of salad. And then just like one bowl for everybody to figure out, do you eat soup first and then put <laughs> salad in the same bowl? Bowl, to eat salad first, then put soup in the bowl. You had to figure these things out. It was fun. But I just love the style of mm -hmm. eating. And so we had a couple of different courses. We had a dessert. The wine was really fun. Mm -hmm. I will say though, it will not come across in the footage that you're seeing of how magical it is just because the nature of like, again, we're filming like while we're at a dinner, it's dark in there. An iPhone can only record so well. But trust us, this restaurant was if so magical. You go to Lucerne please make this restaurant a stop on your list. Very unforgettable.
Switzerland. It completely lived up to the hype. Probably my favorite country we visited yeah. the entire year. We didn't even see all the things that you're supposed to see in Switzerland, but I think that's what makes Switzerland so special is that it doesn't matter where you go. It's all magical, it's all amazing, it's all a bit expensive, but it is worth every penny you spend. And we were really curious what it was gonna be like in the fall because yeah. there's a little bit rain on the forecast. But those leaves changing color, oh my gosh. some of the mountains getting the snow caps, it yeah. was just All the cute. photos I've seen were of Switzerland in summer, and so I was like, I don't know, is this gonna live up? But it absolutely does, fall is magical. Really, I don't think you can go wrong any time of year you go to Switzerland. All right, friends, our final Zook <gasps> rating scale, our silly emoji ratings that we've given all these countries mm -hmm. that we visited in 2022. We are ending the year with Switzerland, but let's recap all the countries and their emojis. Mainly because it's a fun game. Go for okay, it. I'm gonna try. You can I've got the me. list here, so okay, I can Okay, I'm not gonna look. Yeah. Okay, so we started off in Lisbon with the peacock. We did. We went to Kinsale with the seal. Mm -hmm. Valley Bunyan had the shell. Yes. Split Croatia had the cat. Meow. <laughs> Var Croatia had the sailboat. Yes. Then we went to France, which had that croissant. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Royal Senses. At, in Crete, in mm -hmm. Greece, and that was the cocktail. Yes. Then we went to Aja Pelagia, which was the little island with the palm yes. tree. Then we went to the Netherlands, mm -hmm. which was the swan. Then we went to Scotland, which was the hairy cow that we sort of pretended yeah. is a hairy yeah. cow. Then we went from Scotland to Italy. Yes. Puglia, Puglia. which is pasta. Pasta and Puglia. Pasta, and that's it. And we yeah. concludes our time in now Switzerland, which we have to do the snow cap mountain. Quintessential. The emoji was made for the Swiss mountains. Yes. Um, I'm gonna kick us off. Yeah. Because I'm gonna just, there's no suspense. It's 10 snow cap it's mountains. 10. It's, it's 10. It's a 10 snow it's 10. cap mountain. No one has ever recorded a video after going to Switzerland for a few weeks and being like, well, that sucked. You know, it just did not live up to the beauty. It is a, it feels like a fantasy when you're yeah. there. Like you don't believe that somewhere on the planet is actually this beautiful. Uh, and I still can't believe we got to go. 10 out of 10, we 10 will return. 10. We will see more stuff. It will be amazing. And that concludes our final video in this series of taking you along on our travels wow, wow. of our full-time travel year in 2022. We came, we saw, we didn't conquer we anything. We visited 10 we countries. We ate a lot of things. It, it was, was amazing. Uh, but if you missed it, because we didn't really announce it here on YouTube, we moved to Portugal. We did. We are currently in our home in Portugal right now. We have been living here now for two months. It is absolutely just a gem of a country. We love the pace of life. We love the people. We love the culture. The we language. Love the weather. The just weather. all of it has been amazing. And if you want to hear more about that, we have a little podcast we do. That we so do as well. If you're like, you know, I love these recap videos, but I really want to know overall, how was your year? How did it change you? How did you navigate business through all of it? We don't really cover that here on the YouTube channel, but we go way in depth on it over on our podcast. So if you search, what is it all for in your favorite podcast app, you'll find us. We did several recap uh, episodes at the end of the year. So definitely check those out. As well as a little moving to Portugal series. So you get to hear how that process went. Definitely. And we just really hope you've enjoyed watching our travel videos. We know we're not not like the kind of typical YouTube travel vloggers, but we just tried to bring our own kind of energy and ideas to it, our own format. And it was really important to us to balance actually being present in these beautiful places and experiencing it without our phones out at every turn. And so we hope that you can, you know, appreciate the fact that we were trying to bring you along for the journey and give you a, a look into our experience, but also the reason we didn't have our camera out at every single moment was because we wanted to enjoy it as well. It's also why our 2022 travels are being shown in 2023 on YouTube, <laughs> just because true. we've been living in the moment. So right. that will wrap it up for us. We'll be back here on YouTube with some more videos, maybe more business related content now that we're not traveling, maybe some Portugal related content, we shall see. We hope you stick around and we hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.